Would okay. you stay right there for Absolutely. a second? I've got uh, Mike Baker on the line, uh, actually in our studio here. Uh, he's a former CIA covert operations officer. He joins me now. Um, Mike, you have direct contact, or you have in the past, with these Russian separatists. A way to tell us what kind of people are they? Because we get reports that they're, they're drunks, uh, they're ill-disciplined, and the kind of people who could indeed fire off a rocket and uh, just know, know what, don't know what they're aiming at. Well, it's, it's a mixed bag of, of people, not unlike what you get in, in an environment like Syria. You get some very serious oppositionists. You get uh, a variety of people who come out of private life to join the opposition with different agendas. Uh, you get, you know, some, uh, you know, reprobates and some very unsavory characters. So it's, you know, typical of an environment like this, typical of, of civil unrest or, a, you know, a, a separatist organization where it's a real mixed bag of people. So and you've also got a lot of military people with, with with significant training. Well, what are these kind of people doing with sophisticated weaponry that can bring down a plane, a passenger plane, at 30 odd thousand feet? Well, we have to remember that this has been going on now for months. They've claimed a lot of territory, and including the territory or military bases. So they've had access to some time now, uh, you know, weaponry, including obviously serious weaponry, uh, that and some of them are capable or have had training in the past of dealing with. Russia's been supplying Ukraine with hardware for, for decades. So the fact that this gear is there, it, it shouldn't be a surprise to anyone. In fact, it isn't a surprise to the military or intel community. But uh, Putin's now got himself a, a nasty problem, hasn't he? Because he's being held uh, responsible, basically, for somebody under his broad control who mm -hmm. fired off that missile. Well, yes. I mean, in, 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 to, to sum that up, uh, and I would agree with the president in his, just his speech that he just made in, in one sense. Putin is responsible, uh, in, in, I would argue in a large part, for uh, this tragic incident. I would also argue that um, Russia's behavior, well, Putin's behavior, we're responsible for that. Our foreign policy over the past few years, it's, it's, I don't want to say enabled, but it's created this environment where, you know, we've, we've, we've allowed a vacuum at the top of the world stage. And as a result, chaos tends to rush in. Putin, you know, is, is a very um, readable individual in a sense. He's been looking for a recapture of the near abroad of the former Soviet Union uh, forever since it fell. So this shouldn't right, be a Mike, surprise.